Hi, this video is the uh, FUE hair transplant. Uh, we, we did, uh, he actually had two surgery in the past. <clears throat> uh, one at one other clinic somewhere else and the other one was just my, uh, my clinic last year. But you know, just to show the audience that, you know, the, the scar is there but it's hard to see. And this is a year follow up. And uh, FUE leaves tiny dots of scar scattered throughout the back like a mosaic pattern, allowing you to wear your hair shorter. Um, the you know a lot of patients ask question about uh, what's the difference in size of 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1.0 FUE. Uh, so I, I I use all three sizes. However, you know we we test and on the client whichever has the most healthiest roots we go with that one. The thicker the hair, we gotta use the thick uh, the the bigger the the tip uh, up to a one, and the more finer the hair, then we use a smaller tip. Um, again, uh, you, you pay money to have a fantastic result with excellent density with the FUE. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's no use to have a tiny perfect uh, scar um, and use the smallest tip like a 0.6, but then you have no result. What's the, what's the use? And you spend thousands of dollars. Well, let me tell you, yes, the size is different, the 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1.0. Uh, they are different in size. However, uh, when it comes to the scar trial healing, a year later, um, the scar almost identical to our naked eye. It is very hard to see. And this is an example of this client, you know. And so, uh, you know, it, during the recovery, some people will see uh, not, hair not growing out back uh, quickly and those stuff. You got to worry about those are shock loss. And everybody go through shock loss after surgery with the FUE or the strip method. But all that will grow back and you will heal well and it will look like this client. And he had two FUEs done. So, okay. So this is the FUE scar. And the FUE is not just minimal scar, less invasive, less bleeding. And allow you to shave your head really short. Thank you.